We have another online question, and this goes, I think, first to Sean. It's about uh, Greek life. Can you tell us more about Greek life, life in a fraternity, uh, and what that is? What that is? So um, Greek life has a different presence at different universities. At some universities, it's banned completely. At some, it's uh, a really big part of the culture. Um, basically, there's uh, fraternities which are normally uh, men only and sororities which are women only. Um, there are also some co-ed uh, fraternities that accept both men and women. Um, and those uh, are a lot. Basically, you can think of them as, uh, in a sense, social organizations or uh, groups of friends that center around a common set of values uh, or a common mission of some kind. Uh, so you do have, for example, some professional fraternities which focus on business and networking opportunities uh, like Delta Sigma Pi and Alpha Kappa Psi. Um, but you also have social fraternities which are more uh, oriented towards uh, building you up holistically. Again, a lot of the stuff uh, you find in the US about uh, having a rounded experience. Um, and, some, and my personal experience with that was I found a really great group of guys. Uh, I was part of Alpha Delta Phi at Wash U, um, and uh, they were really supportive. Um, they're people who inspire me to be a better person, and I'm really happy to have known them. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a great experience. Let me ask our university representatives. Michael, can I start with you? Um, what's the relationship between the university and fraternities on campus? Um, even though most fraternities and sororities have a kind of a, a, a national chapter that maybe uh, governs or influences the day-to-day -day activities, uh, typically student affairs, again, or student life from the university administrator perspective has a very, very active relationship with uh, fraternities and sororities and, and the leaders of the individual groups. And I think that I, uh, one thing that I would add in addition to what Sean said is it's very easy maybe to focus occasionally on the social aspect or a negative aspect that you might see in the news, but it's it's easy to overlook the concept and the dedication to volunteerism and, and to community service. Uh, many fraternities and sororities do a very, very, very strong job, a very important job of helping to bridge this traditional town and gown gap between the university campus and, and uh, how they interface with the local community and do very, very, very strong and, and well-meaning projects. Thank you very much. Very, uh, that, that's uh, inspiring to see the public service aspect. Um, Emily, what, uh, how is it at La, La Roche? So um, actually, given the size of La Roche, we don't have Greek life. Um, just given how small of a size our campus is, um, we don't have any of the social aspects of fraternities and stories. We do have some of the academic-focused um, fraternities. But um, I will say just generally looking at the, um, the, the work that Greek life does, um, as was mentioned before, it, it not only the community service and the volunteerism is, is spectacular, but just the, the relationships that are formed among the members and how strong of a bond that that continues to be maintained throughout um, their years at school and, and beyond. It's truly remarkable.